Hey guys, it's Roscoe and on the Space Coach today we're joined by Darth Maul because we're going to have a look at what the Phantom Menace Visual Dictionary has to say about Darth Maul and he has a double spread here. I will just move him a little bit further over so we can see properly. So yes, quite a lot of detail there. You see his probe droid. At the bottom you can see his speeder bike. Here's his double bladed lightsaber and various other implements. There is a shot of the two of them fighting. So let me read the text for you and we'll see what it says about Darth Maul. And let's bear in mind all the stuff we know about Darth Maul from after the Phantom Menace. Fueled by the aggressive energies of the dark side, the Sith Order began almost two millennia ago with the renegade Jedi who sought to use the force to gain control. Both strengthened and twisted by the dark side, the Sith fought against each other to gain power and domination until only one remained, Darth Bane. To prevent internecine strife, Bane remade the Sith as an order that would endure in only two individuals at a time, the Master and the Apprentice. Biding their time, the Jedi, it's a Sith, sorry, lay in wait for the right moment to overturn the Jedi and seize control of the galaxy. The present Sith Master, Darth Sidious, is the diabolically brilliant mind behind the training of one of the most dangerous Sith apprentices in history, the deadly Darth Maul. Darth Maul is one of the most highly trained Sith in the history of the Order. Focusing on physical and tactical abilities, Maul serves his master obediently. Does he? When you think about the other stuff we know, especially that more recent Darth Maul comic. Knowing that his own time for strategic wisdom and eventual domination will come and go. His face is tattooed with symbols giving evidence of his complete dedication to the discipline of the dark side. Maul's lightsaber. Pushing his physical and force-assisted abilities to the utmost, Darth Maul built and uses a double-bladed lightsaber as his primary weapon. Traditionally used only as a training device, the double-ended saber can be much more dangerous to its wielder than an enemy. That's true of any lightsaber, of course. In the hands of Darth Maul, however, it becomes a whirling vortex of lethal energy. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> With his double-bladed lightsaber, Maul is equal to two Jedi who are unprepared for his powers. Since the Sith disappeared almost 2,000 years ago, Jedi are not used to facing opponents with lightsabers. He uses elaborate technology in his work as the Sith apprentice of Darth Sidious. One of his most useful tools is the Dark Eye probe droid, a hovering reconnaissance device that can be programmed to seek out individuals or information. And that is this, and there's various details on what the various parts relate to, of course. So there's a transmission antenna, scan absorbing stealth shell, magnetic imaging device, which is this. Thermal imager, which is that. The primary photoreceptor, which is that. And then the levitation device, which is that. Dark eye devices. Probe droids locate their quarry using multispectral imaging and many kinds of scanning. The probes silently monitor conversations and eavesdrop on electronic transmissions and can be fitted with a number of small deadly weapons. Now his um, speeder it says it's powered by a strong repulsor lift engine for rapid acceleration and sharp cornering. The open cockpit design allows more to leap directly from the speeder into battle and it also doesn't have any weapons because he is the weapon. There you see various like uh, binocular type things he has there and there of course is a Sith hologram of Darth Sidious. Darth Sidious uses a clear and powerful hologram transmission to communicate with his Nemoidian minions and his apprentice field agent Darth Maul. Fiercely demanding of high standards, Sidious has been known to dismiss individuals simply for communicating with too weak a signal. <laughs> Yes. So it says his lightsaber blade is red due to nature of internal crystals. This obviously. And as we now know, uh, in the new canon, it's because the crystals are bled with the power of the dark side to turn them red. Yes. So he has his field cloak, which is cut to allow fighting movement, which obviously he's got his full cloak on here. So I'll just bring him forward so you can see underneath the, um, I'll just open it up. Like this, for instance, the undercoat that he's wearing. And uh, what else? Uh, and he has heavy action boots. 
which as you can see there, they were not great the moulding on the feet. Yes, so that is about it on the relevant details of Darth Maul. I don't know if there's that much utility in going into some of the other stuff, given that this is a Phantom Menace and the film is 20 years old. A lot of that has essentially been overwritten or re-explained, because this is not canon as such, um, but the stuff that's come out after the Disney takeover referring to Darth Maul is canon, of course. But yes, I thought it'd be interesting to check out what it says about him. There are certain other characters that I'm certainly going to be getting into as well using this guide. But for now, that's just our look at Darth Maul. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or suggestion for an upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.